Welcome, friends and fellow adventurers, to the 55th campaign episode of Cocked, a real play RPG podcast. On the last episode, the party became entangled with a brone and a hag, and during the fight, a couple of the party members had been hit by a brone and his arrows. We left off as June pointed this out to Katie and asked who he was. Upon receiving a response, she asked if she could use lethal force. Let's jump right back into the action. I don't know who that guy is, but he's taking shots at me. Oh, I don't like it. No. Who is he? Um, he was, he, he was an old friend. Um, the hags, I, they took over his mind, so. So can I kill him? <laughs> I mean, at this point, I don't know if we'll ever be able to get him back. So whatever we need to do to survive. All right. That's good enough for me. June has no emotional like. Well, I don't have a skin an emotional in the game attachment here. No, 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 I know. Yeah, absolutely. So, so, I'm just like the. Huh? All right. See what I did? <laughs> Told you. Well, somebody was going to. Well. Do I have advantage still? Not on him. Okay, great. She's gonna um, use a bonus action, steady aim. Okay. So that I can have advantage. Perfect. Yeah, and she's whipping out her crossbow. Mm. Good. Let's see, that first one was 15 plus 8. The other one was 2 plus 8. We're definitely using 15 plus 8. Does that hit him? 15 plus 8 hits, yes. Yeah, good. Okay. <laughs> Just barely. She's like, yeah, get Just this bitch. She's on my barely. side now. Well, she's pissed because he <laughs> hit her with an arrow. I was going to say, she just got drilled in the shoulder. <laughs> yeah. Let's not say right. drilled. Mm-hmm. So... <laughs> We've got. Ooh. He just made sweet love to her shoulder with an arrow. <laughs> I got an eight on a one d eight plus five. Nice. So eight plus five, thirteen points of piercing damage. <laughs> okay. Plus. Hug it, please. Hug it, please. Plus. That was appropriation. Six. So thirteen oh, plus six, so nineteen, 19 points total. Nineteen points total. Oh. She's pissed. Rachi, we feed you. Oh. And she. <laughs> Because she used steady aim, she can't move, so she just has to hide behind the spider again. I'm okay. sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Roll. Uh, Apparently, Jess feels she can treat Reggie oh however she god. wants <laughs> because she fed him. Oh my god! <laughs> roll a uh, roll a stealth check just to see how well you're hidden. Fine. I mean, if you roll high enough, he can't hit you. So. Yeah. No, he can't hit me. Sixteen plus eleven. Well, I mean, that's close, but... <laughs> no. 27's no. almost June, hitting her. June's like, like, no, you can't hit me, bitch. <laughs> June does the Not John... Again. June does the John <laughs> Cena. <laughs> she's going... She's like, you can't see <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. Uh, <clears throat> okay. And... The hag is running out of the fog cloud towards Did the hut. Did she counterspell me or something? Oh <laughs> my gosh. She's in gosh. fog. She can't see out of it, I thought. She probably has true sight. Yeah. So she can see through Fuck. it. Fuck. Oh. What is that? They have true sight so they can it. see Ugh. through stuff. So when you, you see. I, I looked it up animals. because I was like, I'm pretty sure I have to see for counterspell. And it was like, true sight. And I was like, I don't have to see for counterspell. This is great. So basically, true Ugh. sight, when the eagle was after her, you saw Agar like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah just, just, just T-posed. Just T-posed. <laughs> Agar's like this. <laughs> just <laughs> both <laughs> arms flat. <laughs> yeah, with his big legs like up <laughs> underneath him. Oh, my God. <laughs> Looking like a possessed turkey. <laughs> I, need, I need some artwork of that, please. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> So, so you, to her, you were essentially just like kicking your. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> no. Wow. Oh, God. Well played by the hag, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Burp. Wow. So dainty. <laughs> Burp. <laughs> Burp. <laughs> I like do it away from the mic so that there's no sound. And she's just like, wait for it. Burp. <laughs> Burp. <laughs> Insert sound effect here. <laughs> so the hag takes off from the uh, fog cloud and gets to where Katie is in a line from her. You see as she brings her hands up, 
Connor's will. Put your hands up. Go for it. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> and it's almost like for everybody else listening, Palpatine reaches forward oh. and you see as a lightning bolt <laughs> launches from her hands. And you see this go in a straight line and it. Katie. You must make a dexterity saving throw. Come on, Katie. With advantage. Is it? You have inspiration. It won't even fucking matter. That's a seven. But no. Right. You can roll again. You, you have inspiration. You can roll again because you have inspiration. Oh, wait. That's, I that's advantage. I added like a D8 or something. No, you can roll again. It gives oh, you advantage. Or just, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Didn't know the rules of the game, apparently. <laughs> What you get? What'd you get? That's a dirty twenty. <laughs> See, this is why I think it'll save our relationship because you would have died probably, <laughs> and I just saved your life, reminding you of the inspiration. You did. Try it. <laughs> you're a big. You're a big. Good man. to be married to the DM, huh? <laughs> no, he's trying to kill me. <laughs> so this says a creature takes eight d six lightning damage on a oh. failed save, oh, or half as much damage on a successful one. You're still gonna die. Oh. Facts. You said 8d6? No. Mm-mm. No, half. just 8 d take half of 8d6. No, I know, but it was 8d6 yeah. yes. is what he's rolling. Okay. Yes. Jenna. What? <laughs> you take 14 points of damage. Oof. As everybody else watches as this lightning bolt just hits Katie directly in the chest, and you can see as it goes straight out the back of Katie, so it goes straight through her and just continues into the trees behind her. Mm. Her, her, Yeah, her line is, she, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's that way. I know, I thought she was... Well, I was... I still haven't named her. I was waiting. If you kept Brock on your shoulders and stepped out to walk around, like, she was... Because she knew where you were. She was ready. Brock. (laughs) It was long. 100%. Um... So, Katie, you took 14 points of damage. The hag is out in the open. And And so is a brown. Agard, you're up. Right. Both of them are out in the open, yes. Yeah. Uh, Seeing the lightning, uh, Agard is going to... So, how much cover is this giant spider providing? None. It's, It's, like, on the ground at this point. It's dead, so it's not up blocking anything. It's just laying down. So, spiders, when they die... It's sinking into the ground. Okay. Agard. Like, June and Braca can probably get small enough to hide behind Our it, but the rest size, of you wouldn't be yeah. able to. Okay. Well, that's, that's what I thought. Stupid. That's what I thought. Agard's <laughs> like eight feet tall. He's I not know, hiding behind I a dead know. giant spider. Sometimes it's good he, to be But small. what if he holds the legs up? <laughs> like, I'm still alive. Mom named Agard. <laughs> you, can, you can roll a performance check. And <laughs> hey, we're pretty good. Ain't at no those strings on some reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll work the legs. You work the, there you go. the mouth. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's going to wow. step out. He's going to step out real quickly, and he's going to use his bramble buckler. Okay. Where you see Agar just lift up with his shielded arm, that you know that twisted root and everything mm-hmm. that he has for his mm-hmm. shield, slam his fist into the ground, straight line, so it's within 150 feet, mm-hmm. cast spike growth, dead center on the, the hag. Nice. Yeah. Okay. She can't see anything. Like, there's no... Nothing happens. How long does fog cloud last? An hour. An hour? I think I've said that five times. (laughs) Sass. Okay. How how far is the uh, growth again? 20 feet. 20 feet? So she's in a middle of a 20-foot circle. And then he's going to step back around the rock because he's got something else he wants to do, but he has to wait till. Okay, he finish can't your see. conversation. Basically, the, put this in. He can't see... But let's go back. Um, hey, Brown. Pussycat or Hag. Right. From where he is now. That works. So... Wrong. All right. Hey, Brown. Fucker. Maneuvers himself to the left Sorry. to get behind Rock 3. It's coming alive. Oh, okay. It what? is... It, it's <laughs> tall enough that he can shoot over it okay. and try mm-hmm. to duck behind it. Sure. Meow. Figure it out. Arrow's gonna go underground and hit Braca. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. 
No, he's going to just arc it so yeah. much. So, mm-hmm. Like, yeah. it'll get you in two rounds. There you go. <laughs> it's a cruise missile. Yeah. Regardless of where I go, yeah. <laughs> it's heat seeking. I have to remember. I cast drone strike. <laughs> drone this strike. is a neck nap. All right. He is going to use his bonus yeah. action. And he has two attacks. Am I fairy no, fire this fool? Uh, Brock had tried. He just rolled high enough. I'm sorry, Brock. It all happens. Um, a card. Yes. Does a 28 hit you? How can he hit me? I'm down behind a rock to trigger me. <laughs> That's why I asked you to move to the square you were, because he moved. But that rock is not the size that we... To get line of sight. Whatever. That's fine. Well, no, because that's because the square no, that the rock in. is smaller than what we said it was, so there's no way I can put him in a spot that wouldn't be. But that's fine. Go ahead. Well, if you were if Obviously you were standing, head, so let's go. Well, no, if you're standing above where Brock is or in that line, then you're you're blocked okay. by the boulder. That's why I want to know where no, you went because he had to figure it out. That's fine. But go he ahead. also just needs a tiny little sliver of you because with his bonus action he used hail of thorns. Ah, so yes, of course. Look, what is that? It's another spell. Uh, the next time you hit a creature with a ranged weapon attack before the spell ends, this spell creates a rain of thorns that sprouts from your ranged weapon mm-hmm. or ammunition. In addition to the normal effect of the attack, the target of the attack and each creature within five feet of it must make a dex saving throw. The creature takes 2d10 piercing, because he upcasts it, um, on a failed save or half as much damage on a successful one. Okay. The DC for him is 14. 15. That is a so you passed. 19 plus 3, 22. So you both pass. So you take half damage. Okay. Got it. There it is. I was like, where's my other D10? Yeah, it's like... So you take seven points of damage right. from the Hail of Thorns. Got it. And a guard. You take six points from the first shot. And 11 points of damage from the second one. Mm-hmm. You have 61 max hit points, though, correct? Yes, I'm, I have down, to right? 40, I'm down to 47 now. From one hit. So. Well, one hit with this spell. Right. And Katie, you are up. No, I refuse. No? Okay. I thought I'd try. All right. <clears throat> so the hag's in front of me, mm-hmm. and it ha- she has spike growth around her. Right? Yes. It's still up. Does spike growth... Does it oh, I gotta do a guys? Oh, I gotta okay. do a concentration. Uh, that is a 10. Oh, it's concentration, right? Yeah, con. Uh, so it's at 13. 13? So it stays up. That's, yeah, that stays yeah. up, right? Okay. Um, do, you have to, do you have to make two because he hit you twice, technically? I, I, I don't know. I, mean, I can do another one. I don't, I don't know. I, that's why I was asking. I'm not uh, sure how That's an 18 plus three, so it's Yeah, 21. you're good. You're good. It stays up. Because I don't think it stacks with Hail of Thorns. It would just be the first hit. Yeah, I don't know. So, I heard that before. one thing, uh, Fog Cloud is actually concentration, too. So, so we're gonna say it, we're, we're just going to say it dropped. It yeah. dropped, yeah. After she got <laughs> fucked up yeah. with a spider. Sure. Um, <clears throat> we know how to play. We got it. She didn't even need true sight. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it was gone. Sorry. <laughs> um, and a brone's out in the open. And nothing's going on with Ibron. Ibron is, uh, he, he's kind of behind a rock, but he didn't duck down and hide, so you can see him. God damn it. How far away am I from Ibron? About 65 feet. So June is smaller, so you can pass through the same space as her, mm-hmm. so you wouldn't have to go backwards to go forwards, you could just go step over her to, if you wanted to continue feet, moving. Right. I'm debating because I think if I get at least that close to him, then it's a disadvantage with his... You're trying to go... Yeah, he would have to... Behind he, number two If there, he tries to use his still? bow, yes. Or were you trying if to you go? get He's right up in his like, face. Right. Too long. If you get right up in his face, he would have disadvantage with his bow. That's correct. I just can't remember. Just yeah, just try it. All right, Katie's just willing to die. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go right up. Cause you you broke frightened, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then you can get there. <laughs> I'm gonna go right up to him. Take his concentration off of everybody else. Within 
swing away. As far as I can get up to him. So I yeah, mean, he's deadliest right. at range. So. Well, that's. I was yeah. really asking what side do you want to be on, on that side or uh, closer to the house? No, on the yeah, the other side that closer closest to the house. To the house. At least block you from the hag, right? Yeah. So maybe one square over that way. Yeah. No, block from the hag, right? Well, she can only go here. Yeah, I can only go there. Oh, uh, well, there's move the rock. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I guess that's fine. Okay. <laughs> Double move. I don't have any bonus actions, and that's just gonna be. You could action search. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I can only do that once. Oh. Pooty. Um, yeah, I guess I will. Let me do that. I'll go ahead and action search so that way. Get him. Get him. It's not going to. Because Katie or Jessica rolls were shit. I don't fucking know what's going on. You get two attacks. No, I don't. Not with action charge. Yep. It's what did action. I just say? Action charge. <laughs> with action charge. Uh, action charge. Action charge. All right, let me. You get still because you get your action, so you get both of them. <laughs> what was the total? It doesn't matter. It's definitely a no. It does though. Is what I'm saying. Uh, the first one was a nine. Okay. The second one was an eight. Okay. So those so are no. a little low. But 17. they're not far off. <clears throat> they're not that far off as AC. Um. Okay. <clears throat> I'm, at this point, I'm just like, I'm going to throw this whole dice coffin away and get new Ra- sets. Raka, you are up. Okay. Um. <clears throat> So, Katie, you ran up and swung twice at a brone and kind of got his attention. He's not attacking anybody else any longer. Let's just act like I'm still friendly and I wasn't trying to intentionally hit him. I just want him to focus on me. And I'm like, hey, brone, what's going on? What's going on with you? I always try to talk to him. Um, Um, Bracca, you are up. Katie doesn't want to care. Bracca is going to poke out from... um, the rock back up about 10 feet um, and cast um, um, a firebolt at uh, the hag. Okay. Fire away. Does the thorns around her like restrain her at all? I think it's just uh, rough terrain. Okay. Right. For the thorns that went out, it doesn't restrain her. It's just rough terrain. It's right? rough. It's difficult terrain and she takes 2d4 damage. For any, for every five uh, feet she moved within, okay. Oh, so, well, she just runs around in circles. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, it hurts! It hurts! Why does it hurt? It hurts! It's gonna be a twenty-six to hit. I mean, yeah. I mean, we did say it was all out. All okay. holes. So, pretty oh. sure she's over here, like in okay. pain. My. So, um, first <laughs> is nineteen. Okay. Plus five from alchemical solvent, so twenty-four. Okay. Twenty-four points of total damage. Yeah. Nice. I gotta do math with what was already done. Math. Um, Got it. That was like, uh. <laughs> like that calculator, the ERR. Hang on. I'm getting there. And that is. That's it for me. That's it for you? Yeah. June, you are up. You just watched as Katie ran up and distracted the kitty cat. Um, on the far side, mm-hmm. <laughs> Braca stepped out and launched a firebolt that you saw from your left directly hit an impact on the hag as she uh, kind of stumbles back. Doesn't doesn't move from her spot just yet, but stumbles backwards a little. Okay. Definitely catching herself. Would you consider Katie an enemy of the Browns? Yes. Yeah. Right now. Fab. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to double check. Okay. Ooh. I mean, well, to be clear... Katie's always been, <laughs> always been, been an enemy. enemy. Of the Even better. <laughs> what, what June doesn't know is <laughs> mm-hmm. poor Katie has PTSD from <laughs> hanging out with the bro. Fuck yeah, she does. Yeah. Okay. All right. That means I don't need advantage. Nope. In order to. You have an ally within five feet. You yep. get sneak attack. Perfect. You get sneak a snake. Mm-hmm. Right in the dick. Yeah, she's still going after him because. Yeah, he shot her. Mm-hmm. Makes She's perfect sense. 
Um, so she's gonna pop up. She's gonna, she's gonna hit him with a crossbow again. Let's see. Ten plus eight, eighteen. Eighteen hits. Great. All right. So we got a one plus five, six piercing, and yeah. 11, so 17 yeah. total yeah. damage. And she is going to use her, um, she's just going to use her move to come back behind the stone that she was at behind before. That number one. Thank you. Uh huh. Perfect. Use your bonus action to hide. Go ahead and roll your stealth check. 19. Yep, you're good. Great. What's this do? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I cast Oppenheimer. <laughs> <laughs> Not Oppenheimer. So I'm going to say, no, no matter where she goes, she's got to get through two squares. Right. Um, <clears throat> to get out of what you cast. Right. So go ahead and roll, what is it, 4d4? Yes. Whoa. Because she's gonna go. She's gonna go behind one of the. Yeah, I got you. Uh, that is six behind rock four plus uh, five, so eleven piercing damage. Oof! As her feet just get all sticked. There you go. Raka. Hmm. Make a wisdom save. No. <laughs> Pretty good. Wait, we can do that. Nineteen. Nineteen? Okay. You pass. You watch as the hag kind of gets her way through the thorns, and as she approaches this rock, you just see this her finger reach up, and this gnarled finger points at you, and you can just see what you, being somebody who understands arcana, arcana and that arcane energy, mm. you can feel as it hits you, you start to almost like, you feel like you're turning to stone. You start to tense up, and then it passes. As she attempted to hold person on you. Oh, what a loser. <laughs> and she is now cool. behind yeah. that rock. Yep. Um, I'm, gonna I, say, I'm gonna say that too in abyssal. What a loser. Cool. Yeah. Of the night. What a you loser. shake that off. Um, and Agard, you are up. <laughs> Do you know who I am? I don't half the time. You dirty. Okay, uh, Agard is <laughs> You lunge this way, I'm like, what's happening? Uh Agar. Agard is going to again uh, fart. Oh, good. <laughs> is that is an action? <laughs> Can Agard see the hag? Is she like... Yes. Uh, well, not from where you are, but if you step out from behind that rock, yes. Yeah, I'm sorry, that's what I mean. She's yeah. not... Absolutely. Yeah, she's not covered by uh, the stone that's in front of her. She okay. she was standing over it and cast a spell and didn't. Agard's going to say, um, I'm going to taste of your own medicine here. And he's going to call lightning. Okay. Uh, she needs to make a DC 16 dex saving throw. I rolled a natural 19. Yeah, so if you stop cheating. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. This, uh, I think you still take, take half or something. I was say, I think she still takes yeah. half damage. Yeah, so she'll still take half. So let me roll. Hopefully not shit. That's pretty shitty. Eleven. So you take five lightning damage. He's then because he, well, he stepped out this way. He then bonus action. Um. Ah, oh shoot. I'm. Never mind. <laughs> he says that. Yes. I messed up what I was gonna do. <laughs> I was supposed to use one thing first, then another thing, and I reversed it. So you reversed it. No. Okay. Yeah. So, so but you did call back. lightning, right? Yeah. Doesn't she? So, how much damage does she take? I'm sorry. Five. Five. I rolled eleven. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah. So. After Agard is a brone, without saying a word, mm. Katie, roll a perception check. Mm. Oh, wow. Damn. 
Okay. 17. Nice. You notice that when a brone got hit this last time from June, that when you were standing there, you saw this almost like this gloss glaze over his eyes as he's been attacking you guys. You notice it drops. He doesn't say a word to you, but it's no longer glazed over, and he immediately turns and sprints in the direction of the hack. You can take an attack of opportunity if you would like, or you can see how this plays out. Take it. (laughs) So, hold on. Let me make sure I understand. There was a gloss over his eyes. And then Mm -hmm. he got hit. And there's no... Hold on. And there's no longer a gloss over his eyes. As if he came out of something? Is that what Katie's getting? Or is there a check I'm getting? Roll an insight. With advantage. Okay. Because you guys are familiar with a brown, so... Great. I got a 12. (laughs) Okay. Um... You, f- you feel his expression soften when he sees you and realize what's happening. And as he turns and looks over at the hag, you see what looks like anger snap into him. And he turns and without saying a word, just begins to sprint and just a straight line at the hag. Um, he drops, uh, or he still has his bow out. So as he's running, he's going to take a shot, but you don't get that yet. You just see him I understand. He's just, turn I, and take but off. But I do notice his expression change to where it doesn't look like I'm an enemy to him anymore. I would say you feel like that. So his ears were down. <laughs> and then they went back up. Yeah. And his, then he looked at his, the, the hag. His ears, and ears were pinned again. back. And then they popped up when he saw you. And you heard a... And attack of opportunity is only, like, attacking. It's not using any type of movement, right? Right. It would be an attack. I won't. You're not going to take it? Being able to see that, I'm going to... So, because of everything that's happened, I chose to give a brone advantage on these attacks um we'll go over what happened after the battle but i'll go through it all cool you watch as ebron turns and begins to sprint at the hag and as he leaves you you watch as he pulls two uh arrows out of his quiver and knocks them at the same time and takes a shot with each of them so it's like Robin Hood shit, two arrows yeah. flying. They drill straight into the back of the hag as she kind of lunges forward and catches herself on the rock in front of her and stands up and turns and looks back and goes, you piece of shit. Wow. She's a violent looking, thing. Looking straight at Ibram. We don't get to know how much he uh, damaged her. 17. Oh, you didn't say that. But I have to do math for this one. So. Math. <laughs> and then is that where he is? He's within 10 feet of her? Yes. That was his 35 feet of movement sprinting up to her. Okay. And Katie, you are up. Okay. And I saw, obviously, him hit her and the hag turn around violently. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I don't feel like a brone is a threat right now. But I still want to keep... And then Agar didn't see this. See behind the rock. Mm-hmm. And June sure as shit didn't see that. Um, no I'm gonna... Katie's gonna move up to where a brone is. Yep, yeah, you can get within five feet of him. It's small rock. It's a rock rock. Yeah. It's a rock sized rock. It's a rock. <laughs> okay. It's a rock. I like it. And I'm hoping, I'm not, I don't want to scream anything out loud, but I'm hoping with y'all seeing me near him, because y'all know, not you, June, but 
Agard and Bracca. Y'all know how I feel about Ebrone mm. mm-hmm. and the fact that I'm near him and I'm not going to be fighting him. Hopefully that's like yeah. perceived. Right. I will have tried to roll for it. Yeah. That's yeah, fine, get, but... Get an insight if you want. <laughs> I would say, Bracca, you saw... <clears throat> you would know that they those two were over there by that rock and you saw Ebrone take off and hit the hag with two arrows mm. in that direction because you're far enough out that he would have shot as he was running across so you would have seen both those arrows fly across right. the battlefield and then you watch as Katie was about five feet behind him moving kind of at first you probably would have thought that she was chasing him but then you realize that when she got up to him she did not attack him um, and they're both it looks like they're headed straight at the hag okay. so um, on your turn you can roll in uh insight and see how you would perceive that um, right. or you could perceive it how you would right now um is dex or con worse off or hag i think it was strength <laughs> i mean honestly is that an option <laughs> no unfortunately um i'm just gonna try oh, it shit i'd be wrong Looking at her, their stats. Mm. Hags um, are fucking stacked. Would have been on the hag. The hag. They're stacked. Yeah. Fuck. She has oh. an eighteen for strength. Some do. God Some damn. are weak, but they're yeah. bonkers everywhere. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, this probably isn't gonna work, but uh, well, actually, you know what? No, Katie <laughs> is. Sorry. We just went through all the emotions. So sorry, <laughs> I like the thought process. Yeah. Thank you. Um. <laughs> that, that makes one. <laughs> Katie's upset enough to where, like, everything that's been pent up inside of her, she's done this only once before, is just, like, going to come out pretty much in a rage. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. she just, when she pulls her hands away from her chest towards the, whoops, uh, hag, like, flames just come out of her towards the hag. No, it's a save. Let's do it. It's a deck save. What is the save? Uh, ten. Ten? Yeah. She does make it because I rolled a ten. Okay. And she has plus two for dex. And I'm pretty sure with a save I add proficiency too, Mm -hmm. correct? Okay. Um, you take four points of fire damage. You still take half. And, and, you know, we're not going to round down. Because it was seven. But if it's supposed to be rounded down, it's supposed to be three. (laughs) (laughs) Yep. (laughs) Well, we'll say two, because she has resistance to fire. Fuck off! Oh, well, thanks for telling <laughs> God damn! <laughs> well, that's alright. <clears throat> I guess my rage was just really, just kind of a, a bit of a heat, you know? Just like, <laughs> so, a little flushed. <laughs> yeah, well, that's tragic. I thought I was doing good. <laughs> so, Braga, <laughs> you watch as... <clears throat> a brone takes off across the battlefield, hits the hag twice with arrows in the back. Mm. You see Katie sprinting just behind a brone and gets up next to a brone. And then rather than casting a spell at a brone or hitting him, casts past a brone at the hag. Okay. <clears throat> do you want to make an insight check or do no, you think I'll, Brock would I'll probably do that, I'll do that later. Together? Not important right okay. now. Um... So Bracca is going to cast a sorry. Bracca is going to cast a second level ray of sickness. Mm-hmm. At the hag. Okay, okay, okay. Probably gonna okay. So seventeen, seventeen points of damage to hit. To hit. Yeah. Meets a pizza. Okay. So that's a uh, 3d8 since it's second level. Of what damage? Poison. If she's resistant, I've a I poisoned her, so she's immune. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna cry if she's immune. Oh my god. Okay. Um, 16 plus the five from alchemical sovereign. So 21 total. Yeah. I'm not happy right now. I'm sorry. Thank you. I'm pretty happy. Oh, good. I'm glad. She gets hit from that side as Bracca casts Ray of Sickness 
Oh, she also has Does to it do, do a, anything else? She has to do a constitution saving throw to see if she gets poisoned or not. Nope. Wait, what does don't mean? What's the DC? 60. Nope. She rolled 17. Okay. Oh, so she does not get poisoned. Oh, okay. Well, she that, doesn't get... That's yeah. a note man. Yeah, I was over here like, nope, she didn't make it. No. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it. So. And she's just gonna, like, zoom out of here. Just gonna teleport again. June. Mm-hmm. You watch as all this took place. You watch Ray of Sickness come from Braca's fingers and hit the hag. Oh you can see Katie, who now looks like she... Well, if you pop up over the stuff, you'll be able to see Katie not facing a brone, but facing the hag as well as a brone. Right, alongside so. him. <clears throat> can I... June is up. Can I roll a check to see if she's going to be aware enough to not immediately go for a brone again. I'm going to say because you know this group but not very well yet, Mm -hmm. you could roll an insight check, but it would be with disadvantage Mm -hmm. with that insight. But you absolutely could roll. That makes the most sense and she is. Yeah, I I mean that's what she she's, she's kind of got an idea in her head but also she's not really sure because just a minute ago she hit yeah, him with 17 right. points of damage. I like, did tell you that she used to be, he used to be her friend. And then I said, that's true. Well, can I like, kill him? All right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, like, yeah. she like, might have she's to. She's very much wants to kill him right now. Do yeah. I have the license, right? So let me. It's all happening very, <laughs> very yeah. yeah, very rapidly. Very, oh, okay. Um, that's a dirty 20. Yeah. So. I, I, would, I would say you're able to see Katie and you realize that Katie's aggression is no longer aimed towards Ebron. It's aimed at the hag, even though she's standing next to a brone. So you're yeah. like, uh, that's but probably the hag's probably the bigger threat the bigger, that yeah. we should worry Absolutely. about. He's and the then I'll threat deal with point. that one. Mm-hmm. Okay. So she's turning her crossbow on the hag then. She's okay. Popping up from behind the uh, rock there. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's see if we can hear. Her. Dirty 20. 20 hits. All right, got six plus five, 11 piercing. 11 piercing? Mm-hmm. Okay. And she's she's hiding again. <laughs> she's just <laughs> popping back down. Okay. Like, let's see uh, how this plays out. Go ahead and roll stealth and see if you're able to okay. get drop behind it completely. Which? 15. Yeah. Yeah. You're good. Ooh. The, the DC is pretty low for your character because yeah. of how small you are. So it's <laughs> it's more like if you break the DC or as not. Long and as you do that, even yeah. then, five is well past that DC. So yeah. it's like a 10 for her because she's so small. It's pretty <laughs> easy for you to get down and hide. Let's see here. The hag is angry. Mm-hmm. Angry. Well, when's she my can turn? Die. <laughs> it's my turn. Look, he's ready. Let's see here. Can't you, like, keep using Call Lightning, like, every turn pretty much since it's, like, just lightning strikes or something? Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. I'm pretty sure it's concentration. It's not just, like, a one and done oh. thing. Oh, you know what? I've never used it before. That's going to make that difficult. What? What? Constantly use Oh, oh yeah. That. You can, is it, like, a five-foot thing? or? <laughs> I rolled a nat 20 for her attack. She's attacking a bro because she's pissed because he just shot her in the back. So the hag, as you guys heard, when she was hit, she turned around and um, muttered under her breath, you piece of shit, Mm. at a brown, and turned and took off in his direction. Took the uh, ray of sickness from Braca in the back as she Mm. was turned and going. And Katie, you're facing this, watching it. She didn't even flinch from it. Like, she, she got hurt, but her eyes were strictly locked on a brown. And as she walks up, you watch as both hands, she comes kind of from the sides and reaches and just, with her claws, stabs in just underneath the rib cage and rips up into a brown. Is two actions just with weapons, or can you do a spell and a weapon? They're both actions. Yeah, that's, can, it, that's technically my... Like, I could do a spell and a, and a weapon. Are you talking about, like, just, for your two attacks? Yeah. 
I think so. it's only when you no. do like weapons. um. Uh-uh. It's only weapons. What's that? Yeah. Warmaster spell, whatever. <laughs> oh, Warcaster. Yeah. Warcaster. That's, that's for yeah. like opportunity attacks, though. Right. Yeah. You so, watch <clears throat> as she takes these this claw attack, and Katie watches. I'm gonna say because it was a natural twenty, she uses both hands because it's double damage type of thing rather than just one. Um, as she pierces underneath the ribs and lifts Ebron off the ground and pulls out, you watch as the life leaves Ebron's eyes. And he drops to the ground, um, charging the hag. And she immediately turns and looks directly at you with the blood just dripping from her nails as she pulls them out of Ebron and looks right at Katie. Then... Agard, you're up. Okay, Agard is going to... Um, thank you for that. Uh, call down the lightning. Uh, the space just behind the hag because he doesn't want to actually hit um, uh, Katie. Okay. Well, well, hold on. He steps out from behind the rock. Right. And just sees a brown down Katie standing there with a bloody hand hag because I hadn't seen any of that. Honestly, I'm going to say when you step out, you can't even see a brown. Okay. Um, at first because you're so... You're so locked into the battle yeah, yeah. that you're looking straight at the hag because that's right. who you were looking yeah, for. Okay. I would say after you cast this, mm-hmm. um, we'll make a perception check as you're going back behind the rock and mm-hmm. see if you notice. Well, um, he's not going back behind. Anything he's else. going at her. Now. Okay, then we'll, we'll make so, a perception after that. So. Okay, so he, ru- he goes up 30 feet and um, calls on the lighting again. Uh, like I said, right behind her. So it doesn't... What are you doing? The fucking ring that he. Has. I told I told him one person was going to die tonight, and that ring was going to go on. Rowan just died. <clears throat> well, he's Ish. unconscious. Well, okay, pour one out. Um, <laughs> so the hag needs to do a uh, deck saving throw. Okay, sixteen. Let's see what her pluses are. That's a twenty. So she takes eight lightning. So it was behind her, though, and it's anything within five, five feet, feet of right. where it hits. Right. Not, okay. Right. And that's why he did it behind her. So right. if he hit her, it would also hit Katie. Gotcha. And I didn't want to just have to roll a saving throw. Jesus. Thank does, you. Does it, does it cost your action to call down the yeah. lightning? Mm-hmm. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Agard, as you are running and you continue calling down lightning... Mm-hmm. You do notice as you, you're sprinting that it looks like Ebron is on the ground at the hag's feet in front of her. Mm-hmm. Um, you can see he's face down, and you see that the hag has turned towards Katie and has blood dripping from her her claws. Yeah, and she's a little singed. And Katie, you are up. <sighs> do your fight a thing. Swing on the hag. Yeah, I just... I don't have the best rolls as okay. you'll, a you'll, person. You'll get it. Here comes that nat 20. There you go. Two nat 20. comes that nat 20. Boom. Man- manifest it. Oh. Uh, well, no. That's not even. That's a 15. That hits. <gasps> I'm pretty sure. Tumble? No, Let I thought you said check. 17 means it beats it. Oh, that's right. And then that's a 12, so. She's hitting a bro. Okay. So Katie swings through twice. Do you want to move? Do you want to do anything? No. Or are you just stay in there? Okay. <clears throat> so Katie swings through, and the hag kind of, you see her kind of move and get out of the way. And I hate my character. Braca, you are up. Um, is it an action or bonus action no, really, to, um, <laughs> to summon my raptor? It is an action to summon it, because you have to use the item. Right. Um, I'm going to cast... Okay, so you see Braca... Um, grab a vial and pour acid into a vial, like an empty vial, mm-hmm. and you see him heat it up very rapidly, and the vial begins to shake, and this um, just stream of, like, acid, like, comes out so violently that it almost, like, destroys the bottom half of the vial as he casts Melf acid, Melf's acid arrow at the hag. A, as you cast that, you just watch as she holds her hand up. And am I, it am I, am I within air, 60 really feet? Because it. it's a 90 foot range of it. I think you're within 60 feet of her, aren't you? Because I thought I backed up some. 
That's the last movement. I think you said that you moved to there. No, you're right. You're right. You backed right. up, okay. so you were seventy. Okay. Yep. Uh-huh. So she can't. She can't counterspell it. Cool. Well, well uh, so that's fourteen flat. But I'm going to use alchemical seven to add five to the roll. So nineteen. Nineteen to hit. Yeah. Okay. And do you have like? Can you use that every turn? Or yeah. okay. It's it's just once per turn. It's uh, nice. Once per turn, you can add plus five to your attack. Yeah. Yeah. Eleven acid. And, Eleven acid damage. Yeah. And immediate uh, target takes forty-four acid damage immediately, and two d four at the end of its next turn. Okay. June, you are up. She's she's gonna do the same thing. She's gonna try something different in a minute if they haven't already gotten it gotten rid of her. Um. All right, let's try to hit her with the crossbow, but this time Katie's within five feet, so. Mm-hmm. Come on. Seven plus eight. Fifteen doesn't hit. Fifteen doesn't hit. Damn it. All right. Welcome to my whole fighting I know. Fighting I know. Mm-hmm. No, that's all right. <laughs> so June is going to move up to the fallen log where she was before, just to get a little bit closer. She's going to go ahead and as a bonus action, just kind of call out her mage hands by her side. Nice. She's not going to do anything with them yet, but she's just keeping them out for the next time. Do you want to describe what you're doing? Like, because it's a different item. Yeah, absolutely. So she's just, she just closes her eyes briefly, puts her hand over her green gemstone on her right wrist, and two purple, light purple spectral hands come out beside her. And she's just crouched down below, below the tree, waiting. Katie, you are going to get an attack of opportunity on this. <clears throat> Two? Did I... Attack of opportunity, you only, you only get one. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you only get one attack. On your turn, yeah, you get two actions. Two. 22. That hits. Oof. Nice. Good timing. 12 points of damage. Nice. 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 Slashing, to be specific. She is going to maneuver. Oh, you guys have an advantage on Daddy Brown now. (laughs) There you go. (laughs) He's like, like, not wrong, but... Well, that's what what I was hoping for, and then I didn't hit. Katie, make a dex save. As you guys see, again, a very familiar casting as she casts Lightning Bolt, and it goes that in one. a straight line. Okay? So... Oh, shit. Mm. For a four. Yeah, we gotta finish it. I rolled three ones. She rolled 19 points of damage for Lightning Bolt, and it's 8d8. Yep. 19? <clears throat> mm-hmm. So, the Hag maneuvered, cast Lightning uh, lightning Bolt, hitting a Brone and Katie in that line, going across. She was aiming for a Brone, too? Well, it's cast in a line. So yeah, it's a hundred feet. Okay, in a five okay. Foot yeah, I'm sorry. Line. I was, so I was it, so it hits. It. Yeah, it hits everything you. in that line. Gosh, gosh, gosh. And she begins to go into the house, but I don't think she has enough movement to actually get inside. I think thirty feet puts her on the porch. Okay, so she's moving into the house now. Um, as she appears to be retreating, Katie, you are up. Uh, she takes two d four from the acid arrow. Okay. Well, well, three. She's looking hurt. Hmm? She's looking hurt. You feel like her retreating and running, right, is uh, an indication of how bad she is. Katie, you are up. I have weapon bond, mm-hmm. so I can throw a weapon, and as a bonus action, it can come back to me. Yep. But I have two attacks with a weapon. Could I throw it? 
Use my bonus action to retrieve it and throw it again to get my two attacks. I mean, you wouldn't be able to call back again, but that, I mean... Right, I could just... Yeah, I, I, I kind of like the visual of it. So, yeah, you, you wouldn't... Exactly. You wouldn't be able to get it back oh, up to the yeah. second one yet. But, yeah, you can throw it, call it back, and then finish your first action. This what is the one where you for? crit. No. Yeah, like you throw it, it hits her, you call it back, grab it in the inertia, you like... You there you go. <laughs> throw it, yeah. Right. That's cool. I like that. Um, the second one would hit 18. 18 hits. Um... Uh, and you know what? Roll both with advantage because I really like the way that this attack is going. I like the visual of it. So yeah, let's let's. Um, I like it because I, I want it to. Just hit. both hit now because I got a seventeen. Well, the first one was eighteen, so. And then this one would be a twenty-three. Yep, they both hit. So. It's fourteen damage mm-hmm. on the first one. Okay. And. Seven. Slashing. Are you having that shit? I'm so mad at you right now. And then my axe would be up by her. To the inner, was it? Well, yeah, I right. guess so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You you see, uh, everybody sees as Katie, with two hands, just reaches back and just chucks this great axe, and it hits the um, the hag, and she kind of slams against the door, and all of a sudden that axe just pulls out of her back and swings back and Katie catches it and all in one motion as she comes back just throws it again and you see as it goes through the hag's shoulder and almost like pins her to the door and she has to pull herself off and begins to turn around with a great axe stuck in her back. Uh, Braca, you are up. Okay. Wait, is it my... I feel like Agar... I feel like we've skipped Agar a couple times. Uh, no, he called lightning, and then she had to maneuver around and then did the straight line. Oh, that's lightning. right. And then I had attack okay. of an opportunity. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm just sitting here. <laughs> that's how I felt. I was just like, I'm not even doing anything. <laughs> well, Bro- Brock is going to... You know what? No, because <laughs> she goes before you. So you, you, you are up. She would have been oh. right there. Thanks so. for skipping me. <laughs> no problem. So, what do we do now? <clears throat> so, what do you want? Uh, Agard, being within 30 feet of her, is going to cast Thorn Whip. Um, mm-hmm. And with the Bramble Buckler, he does a little bit different now. He takes off a little piece of his the vine shield. Mm-hmm. And then, as he moves his arm forward, this kind of ethereal Thorn Whip comes out. Nice. I like it. He wants to get her right around the throat. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then pull her. And she gets pulled 10 feet Bring towards him. Bring back. <laughs> yeah, I get the axe. <laughs> yeah. Indiana Jones with this shit. Okay. Um, so that's going to be... Uh, that is a dirty 20. Nice. Okay, it hits. Um, it's 2d6. Mm-hmm. That is 9. 9 Piercing. What? Piercing? Yeah. Oh, your stuff was getting halved. <laughs> and, then, and then he just pulls her back, you know, 10 feet towards him. Okay, so she moves. And then he wants to call out to everyone... We have to end this now. How? <laughs> Braca he just ignores me. You are up. <laughs> okay. Is I have a lot of ranged options that'll matter because I don't want her to just counter spell me. Mm-hmm. What's your movement? Your movement's what thirty? She's yeah. A lot further for me now, though. I only have one more spell slot left, and I'm saving oh, it. Oh, I got you. No, no. Um, you do what you gotta do. Hmm. How? Okay, I'm just going to use my action to summon my raptor, move 50 feet. Okay, I'm just going to, um, I'm going to summon the, um, yeah, just straight 50. Uh, or kind of like, I guess, around, so I'm not in a straight line, like, behind you. Uh, yeah, this way, the left. Yeah, so the, the mechanical raptor, it's, it's essentially just like a steampunk version of, like, it resembles the raptor in every way it can in, like, a steampunk form. Okay. The metal on it is still like purplish, and it like kind of from like uh, from like its rib cage exudes like that golden like light. Candy coated. Yeah. I'll say it looks like that, like that scorched metal. Yeah. That gives that kind of like the purple hue. Mm. I like it. Yeah. And like before, you know, like around it was like the kind of like purple gold light. It's like from like its rib cage where like parts would be. It's like exuding like gold flesh, like purple steam. Okay. I like it. Nice. 
and he's just gonna go just wait there. Okay. June, you're up. June is gonna move around the log just to be in front of it. She's got a straight line to the hag through, you know, right there through Katie and a guard. Right there. Mm-hmm. Yep, perfect. Sure. Um, and she is going to put her fingers together in front of her. Her mage hands are still down by her side. Oh, yeah. But she's going to put her fingers together in front of her, slowly move them out, and you see three darts that are glowing. And she pushes her hands forward, and she sends out magic missile. Okay. And has nice. all three of them go towards the hag. Wow. So. <laughs> just, just, just said yeah. no. Yeah. <laughs> Counterspell. Hitting my shit. She's <laughs> trying, wow. She's trying something different. Wow. Sure. <laughs> she's like, well, fuck. <laughs> she just, uh, she basically, she's got an axe hanging out of her back. She's got a thorn whip <laughs> that just let go of her throat. And she watches as you raise your hand, and you can see these three lights begin to, yeah, you know, form. And she just waves her hand at it, and just didn't even give it a chance to see what it was. Just was like, no. And just stopped your magic missile she's and counter spelled it. <laughs> but I mean, I thought she for, was bad enough. I was like, for for a counter spell to have her wasted on magic missiles, pretty good. Yeah, like yeah. so, um, she counter spells magic missile and stops that one from from going off. And she turns and she heads towards the hut door. And as she goes to pull on it, it doesn't budge. And she jerks it a second time, and you can hear from inside the house. You have brought visitors when I told you specifically not to bring anyone here. And as you hear this voice end, you see this bright flash from inside the house. And then she opens the door, and you see her run inside. Wait, so the door, like, didn't want to let her in? She wasn't she able to get in, in, and you heard a voice tell her. And then you saw a bright light. Like how far into the house? Um, she's in the house. The door's closed behind her. Well, no, it's not. The door's open. She I'm just ran say, inside. It did not close. <laughs> right. She ran inside. She she's sprints inside the house, and gotcha. you guys just see her disappear gotcha. into the doorway. But the door's open. Okay, I thought she was part of the flash. I was like, yeah, nope. like <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> nope. This crusade's over. <laughs> nope. Go back to the woods. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and Agard, you're up. Uh, Agard's running in the house. Okay. Could call As... lightning go through the roof? Just question. <laughs> <laughs> just... There's holes in the roof. Bro, he's so already... He's, he's yeah, not no, it's just a so random thought. Yeah. You get into the, the house and you can yeah. see her. She is standing at a shelf and you can see her digging through stuff. Like, where is it? And she starts digging and she doesn't even realize that you have come in the house behind her. Okay. Fuck her up. Um, well, be confused so she wanted to be friends. <laughs> uh, she, I get within about 10 feet behind her. Okay. And I cast Thunder Wave at second level. Okay. She has to do a con- uh, concentration saving throw. 16. No. Okay. Uh, then she will, because I'm being lazy, 3d8. Uh, of course. Wow. It's only eight uh, damage, but she also gets uh, pushed ten feet away from me, so she gets smooshed up against the uh, whatever you said she was digging through. Roll a roll two. Uh, roll a d six for the one d six. Yeah. Okay. Because you slammed her into the wall. A one. <laughs> oh. Okay. Wow. Is the wall still there? Katie, keep your stuff over there. <laughs> The wall is still there. Okay. So <clears throat> she was digging at what looked like a bookshelf. Right. Yeah. The and yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> and like she was throwing books off. Yeah. And when Agard cast this, she slammed into the shelves and the shelves just like fractured in the middle. Right. And they like all the books that were on it have fallen and she kind of fell with it and is like picking herself back up. But she looks hurt. Oh, um, but smash. Um, and Katie, you are up. Well, I'm going to use my weapon bar on 
for my weapon to be called <laughs> Is back. it still stuck in her? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's still <laughs> in her back. <laughs> like, oh, I, I thought about be another D6. Well, can had I just she, push the axe more? Well, had she been facing you? Yes. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. I, I thought about that. And I was like, well, I said she was digging through books. So. Yeah. Cut her in half. I just went away. One D6 of damage for me calling it back out of her back. I mean, you don't get it for calling it back out of her back. But you can call your... You can get inside the house and call your axe back and get within call, range. I don't have to call. I don't have to go inside the house though. Nope. At least from my knowledge, y'all, y'all let me know. No, Maybe. no, you don't have to go to the house. It I'm says just, that I can summon it as long as it's on the same I don't, plane. Yeah, of I, don't, I don't think you have to because I think technically it disappears or reappears. Yeah, but you would have been able to, with a lot clear line of sight, make it look like you pulled it straight back and then thrown it again mm-hmm. the first time. Well, so it disappears and reappears in your hand. Um, I would say. Where you're at, you would probably be able to get into the house and get within melee range of her. I understand, but I don't have the greatest luck. I'm just worried about Ebron. Well, that's out of character. It's because of the the change of looks. I know. He gave me the... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he batted his eyelashes yeah. and now he's all <laughs> innocent again. <laughs> What? Vic. <laughs> we still got a hobgoblin with the fight. Um, oh, oh, yeah. We, we yeah. do still okay. have a whole, a long, whole ass army of this, right? I guess mm. we're... Mm, okay. Yeah. But I know Agar's alone. Okay, so I'll just... I'll run. I'll run back. I'll run in. Okay. You run in? As you run in, you can see the hag is picking herself off the ground. Yeah. There is a broken bookshelf behind her yeah. with books scattered all around her, and you can just see Agard standing there almost like this hulking figure. Like, Can we see I blew out the windows of the house, too? Well, they're already blown out. Oh. They're already falling apart. But you can blow out whatever was left. As, Thank you. as I'm running in, I'll <laughs> tell you. All right. So as I'm running in, I'll tell Braca, like, hey, see if you can get a brone and run in, get within... I, you said I could get within melee range. range. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't see how far away I am. Yep, you're, you, you'd be able to get in and get in melee range. Okay. And it's advantage because she's prone. Well. Well, she's on her feet. But... Oh, she's on her feet. Okay. Yeah, right. she was. She was getting up. Uh, Fourteen points of damage for two attacks. How do you want to do this? <laughs> I knew he was letting you kill her. I was just like. Just... Fucking <laughs> well, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Especially with Katie's record, we don't know if she's gonna actually hit. <laughs> you, you had, we're just happy she showed up this time. <laughs> oh my god! Been standing in a lone tunnel by herself for twenty minutes. While oh we're my god! Pick. I was trying to get the freaking cat. <sighs> yeah, you guys had. Dwindled. I was going after him. You guys had dwindled her down to six hit points when you slam, like you slammed her against the yeah. bookshelf, and I was like, "Oh, this is gonna be a good amount of in damage." Shitty it's roll. Like, you were like I one, and I was like, "I totally just it." That's six points. Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be a t-shirt. So, so even with having your damage, yeah, you would do seven. It's more than what she nice. has. So, how do you want to do this? Oh yeah. I don't even know because it, it isn't even my fight. <laughs> Well, because I would have much rather if you've killed them, a guard. Me? Because you have hey, a more Katie, personal... grow a pair. <laughs> June's outside. She's out of this. She's outside. So. <laughs> Jess is going to commit murder. <laughs> Katie murder. just did. Yeah, no, for sure. Well, Katie is like so done with I guess it could be called self defense. Um, yeah. Yeah, I guess um, I just take <laughs> two swings to try to do as much damage as possible, and I guess the second one just hits just right to where. What is Katie's head frame right now? Is she angry? Uh, yeah. Okay. So Katie runs in. That's why I can't <clears throat> picture one. After calling She's her just axe back. red. Right, and she comes in, and she can see as Agard's standing there, like with this very menacing <clears throat> feel about him. You see, the uh, hag is picking herself up off from getting slammed into the bookshelf, and Katie runs in, and at first she comes over the top and digs right into one of the the hag's shoulders, and then as you pull out, you swing straight across, and you're able to actually get in the side of her neck and decapitate the hag. 
As I would say head. half decapitation. <clears throat> okay. As she's that, like nearly headless Nick, right? She's only like, it's half hanging off. Because you don't want her to join the headless hunt? Mm-hmm, Makes exactly. perfect sense. Makes perfect sense. So, Agard walks over and pulls the head there. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So, Puts it on spike outside. Yeah, so you you swing through. The head doesn't come completely off, but the uh, the hag falls to her knees, and you watch as the head kind of falls to the side and then forward, and the rest of the body follows. And the uh, hag's body is laying lifeless in front of Katie and Agar. Burn it with fire. Can Agar do a strength check to step on the head and slowly apply pressure until it crushes Burst. underneath? Go for it. Uh, I'm gonna say you just got to roll higher than a twelve, but I don't. I don't know how. Uh, uh, Sixteen. Okay. Yeah. You're able to do. Angle. I cannot see this dice. Thing. It's just you. It's it's just angle. Angle. Yeah. Yeah. No. I just take it. This is where we're going to end this week's episode as the party has dealt with the hag and they begin to assess the damage around them from the battle that just took place. Thank you everyone for joining in on this journey with our group. We love making these episodes and we hope you enjoy the story as well as the laughs and witty banter that occur between us along the way. Tune in next week to find out Abrone's fate. Is Braca able to get to him in time? Or has he passed on defending his friends, clawing at redemption for his actions while under the hag's spell? But again, nothing happens. She Where can't see anything happen. Lots of things are penetrating her in lots of areas. Mm. Mm. <laughs> All the things. All the things. <laughs> really. All the holes. Oh, boy, that will. tastes. That's not like Shishido. Reggie, you want to try? Nah, I'm good. They're not that bad. Appreciate the no, offer. They're healthy. Put, it's not I got like, some mushroom I'm, chips, too. I'm today, literally which I'm excited eating. About. Baked green yeah, pea I like snacks, those. and these are really good. I wow, it's a good thing it wasn't open right yet. next to the know, right? <laughs> wow, did your heart expand? <laughs> <laughs> That's what that means, really. <laughs> no, but my butthole shrunk. Wow. <laughs> yes, <laughs> puckered a little bit. I like these very organic uh, areas of effect. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what? <laughs> you do what you get. You know, I got you. Cool. Do do, yeah, we know. Try girl in the woods. Uh, does the bear shit in the woods? Agar does. I think. Let's see. And it's blue. Yes. <laughs> and it's blue. <laughs> oh my gosh! Letters. I feel like that just—it's a really easy tell that there's something around. No. A tail. <laughs> Definitely for all around. So. <clears throat> Glitter poo. Glitter, glitter poo. Glitter blue poo. That's what you called me. <gasps> and I... Oh my gosh, we're going to make, like, get some Play Doh with some glitter in it, blue Play Doh with some glitter in it, and we're going to sell little agar turds. Little agar turds. Or patties. Um, Shit he's turds? eight foot tall. It ain't little. Well, okay. You get, like, the industrial, like, kindergarten class bucket of blue <laughs> Play Doh. Do you. <laughs> Do you think that. Larger, like taller people. I think larger people shit. poop a lot more. Yes. Um, like they take in a lot bigger, more. But can, uh, you, like, can you move Agar? I so can't that, right now. We gotta so finish that. this up. <laughs> no, 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 no. This, this is the. Can, can you move him? Can you move him in the square right you want him to be in? For me? Yeah. Yeah. Right, you sit right back. Behind right in that square. Okay. That's what I want to know. Yeah. I, and just to be clear, I understand that's probably a larger amount, but not like. Larger in size. Well, no, but he's saying larger amount because he said like bucket size. So you but think Agar and Bronca poop the same size? No, I think obviously that's a huge difference of size. So your buttholes are different in size. 
pretty sure he's not pooping out big I old just, logs. I just want to point out. I just want to point out. You said butthole so violently that the fallen log that was there blew off wow. the table. Wow. It was like, I'm not wanting to be a part of this conversation. You started the conversation. No, the log. I'm obviously in it. We're talking about logs. Big no. old steamy agar logs. But I'm just saying, you can only you could put it in one log. You don't have to put the whole pile of his shit. You God, know what you're I mean? So wrong. 